Thank you, candidates. Uh, now we will have our nonpartisan candidate for uh, State Supreme Court Associate Justice Position 3. Welcome, candidate David Sterling and not present Supreme Court Justice Courtney Goodson and Judge Kenneth Hickson. <coughs> Mr. Sterling, you may begin your opening statement. Thank you very much. <clears throat> My name is David Sterling and I am running for the Arkansas Supreme Court. And uh, I just want to tell you a little about myself. I am a lifelong Arkansan. I've been practicing law now for about two decades. And three years ago, I set aside my private practice to go into public service when I was asked to be chief counsel of the Arkansas Department of Human Services. It's our state's largest agency. We've got about 7,500 employees, um, an $8.2 billion budget. And I personally supervise 75 attorneys and a staff of 172 people all over the state, taking care of the most vulnerable citizens in our state. At DHS, we take care of the uh, children and adults, uh, the mentally ill and the disabled, uh, the elderly and the poor, and it's been an honor uh, to serve in this capacity for the last three years, and I'm hoping to continue my public service now on the Supreme Court, and with your help, I can do that, and I'm asking for your vote on May 22nd. Thank you for that, Mr. Sterling. First question, we all come from different backgrounds with regards to our socioeconomic status, political affiliations, and religious views. How do you or should you draw on your background or life experiences in forming opinions on cases? Well, this is a nonpartisan race, and I think it's very, very important uh, to recognize that, that, uh, that we shouldn't be ruling uh, based on our own personal uh, views and so forth. I mean, that's one of the uh, problems with the uh, with a lot of the judges and so forth that I've heard as I've traveled the state and so forth is that a lot of people are concerned that judges are, per are ruling on cases based on their own personal viewpoints. Uh, for me, uh, I think that judges should not legislate from the bench and they shouldn't be ruling based on their own personal views. They should instead use the Constitution itself as their guidepost. Um, always you know evaluating every case based on the, the constitution uh, you know i'm a uh, constitutionalist i characterize myself as an originalist uh, and a textualist i think that really when ruling on cases dealing with statutory interpretation or constitutional interpretation words have meaning and uh, really the words of the statutes the words of the constitution that's what ultimately should guide that so again it's not a political position and so you know I will say that you know my faith does inform all of my personal uh, decisions in my daily life, uh, and I think that it's important that uh, your justices serve with honor and integrity, and that's what I'm pledging to do uh, on the Arkansas Supreme Court. Thank you for that. Mr. Sterling, the second question is most people nowadays want to politicize everything. In some states, judgments are partisan races. Judges are partisan races. Noting, knowing the political climate in Arkansas, why should Democrats and Republicans vote for you? Again, I think it gets back to my answer to the first question. Um, I am pledging to all Arkansans to set aside any kind of partisan affiliation, to set aside any kind of personal feelings I may have about a particular matter, and to really just concentrate and focus solely on the Constitution. Uh, I heard someone uh, make an analogy the other day that I think is applicable here. They talk about uh, when you're tilling a garden, you know, if you uh, are tilling a garden and you're looking right in front of the tiller and you're working a row, if you're just looking right in front of the tiller and you get to the end of the row and you look back, you'll see that you might have some squiggly lines there and everything. So what you do in farming is you fixate on a point off in the distance and you stay focused on that particular point as you're tilling that row. And when you get to the end of the row, you look back and you'll see a pretty straight line. For me, um, I pledge the people of Arkansas to fixate on the Constitution itself. And uh, throughout my tenure on the Supreme Court, hopefully when I get to the end of my tenure, when I look back, I'll see a pretty straight and narrow path back to the Constitution and realize that I actually uh, adhered to the Constitution with all of my decisions. And that's the pledge I'm making to all Arkansans. Thank you, Mr. Sterling. You may now present your closing statement. Thank you again uh, for having me here tonight and giving me the opportunity to explain uh, 
why I'm running for the Arkansas Supreme Court and who I am. And uh, I just want to um, take this time to let you know that I think that what we need on the Supreme Court is what I term as a judicial conservative. And that's different from a political conservative. I mean, again, back to my original point, I think that judicial conservative uh, conservatism is so something that uh, really recognizes that there are three separate but equal branches of government. Uh, that judges should not be legislating from the bench, but should leave that to the people and their elected representatives in the legislature. I think that judges should recognize the concept of judicial restraint, meaning that statutes that are properly passed by our duly elected representatives are presumed to be constitutional unless clearly unconstitutional and in, in contradiction to the Constitution itself. I believe the judicial restraint um, also uh, in, uh, talks about textualism and that uh, uh, when you're interpreting a statute, you should really look at the words of the statutes itself. Words actually have meaning and how the legislature came to those words was, was a pretty um, involved process. And it doesn't really matter what one person thought that the statute meant or another person thought that the statute meant. What really matters at the end of the day is what do the words themselves mean uh, once that uh, statute has uh, gone through the rigors of, uh, of our legislature. Uh, I wanna say that people in Arkansas are looking for someone that's going to serve uh, w with uh, honor and integrity and I'm promising to do that uh, to the people of Arkansas today. They want to see people who are going to bring the right values to the job and people who are going to be, bring the right experience to the job. And I think that with my variety of, of backgrounds and experiences, uh, that's what I bring to the court. Now, thank you for your time today. Thank you, Mr. Sterling.